I'm going to make a small review of a new product I, I like very much. This is uh, a new motor from Model Motors, from uh, this, the company that produces Axi Motors, which is a company that uh, was producing really good motors from the very beginning of the, the electric air modeling. In fact, I know them since uh, a lot of years ago. But the problem was that they were somehow stopped and, and they don't, didn't put in, in the market new products for a long time but now they've got this new series of motors that uh, look great uh, to me. I teach electrical machines and, and I selected this uh, 28, 14 slash 12 long motor for a, a RPA and building for our and for teaching in, in one of our titles and uh, I, I must say that uh, the, the product itself is really good and, and I've been dealing with the company for the purchase of, of this motor and, and they provide me a really good support. Uh, in fact, I needed uh, what they call the radi radial mount, which is this small uh, thing you put on, on this side because I, I, I need to couple the motor from this side. And, and they answered me in less than 24 hours and sent me the, uh, this, uh, this item uh, really, really fast and they were really kind. So um, I, I've got a very good impression uh, about the company. Uh, regarding the motor, uh, I find in, in, in its design things that I usually teach in, in class. For instance, you can see here in, in the rear part there's something blue inside. This, this small thing, uh, blue, you can find here is uh, some type of axial fan. This is typical of large uh, electrical machines. You cannot find this in, in normal uh, brushless motors for aero modeling. And it is really important and, and it, it is well designed. It, it, it has a design um, I usually teach to the students. Uh, it is uh, uh, aimed to keep the motor cool. And this is really important. You must know that this type of motor, which is a permanent magnet, uh, reduces its flux density when it is warm. So it means the higher the temperature, the lower the flux density the, 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 the magnet are able to produce. So you lose efficiency and of course if you keep it cool it will last much more and you will be able to flight it a thousand times. So th this is really uh, this is a really good detail. The shield is incredibly uh, good and, and also beautiful. I, I like the design. They have taken out all, all the unnecessary material to reduce weight. The output of the cables is very well uh, done. In some cases uh, one is always frightened of, of breaking something and here you can see the windings are really well wound around all the poles and the output is uh, very well uh, tightened to, to the motor so you can work this without being worried about uh, breaking anything. Cable is made of copper Probably this is because I'm a little bit uh, neur neurotic, but I, I very much like to find copper cable and not uh, aluminium cables uh, and also with this uh, silicon uh, cover that allows you to uh, make with the cable whatever you want. Mm, the support part for the main bearing on the front is uh, really well designed, it's, it's quite big, you can see inside there is very good and, and large very it, it happens the same on this side mm. and the, the whole motor is quite uh, light I, I was expecting to have a high weight but you can see it is 115 grams so it, it is really really good and, and of course it's, it has a very nice appearance I'm, I'm waiting uh, I'm, I'm expecting now to have very good results with the test vent and you can see I've got a lot of propellers. Uh, I'm not going to compare it with other motors because I'm, I'm more interested on getting a very low consumption as, as it is the, the main feature of, of this manufacturer. 
for my RPA that is for teaching and I need to have larger, larger autonomy. So I will show you the results uh, with all these uh, propellers that are all that can fit my design in, in a while. As you can see now everything is prepared to test, uh, test the motor and uh, test bench is measuring zero and I'm going to start with this propeller that is a Chinese propeller that came with the platform of RPA I'm building. With this motor it, it, it was around 28 amperes and 1100 grams of, of thrust. Uh, I will use this device, it is an infrared thermometer with a laser, laser pointer to measure the temperature of the motor when it has run for a while to see how well ventilated it is. Let's start then with this. Well, my other propellers have flown. Uh, it it pushes quite hard. Well, as you can as you have seen in in the indicator, I hope it will appear well in in your screen. We reached the same thrust uh, that in the previous case. Motor has even not hit it at all with less consumption. I'm going to go again to get one thousand one hundred grams more or less different is not really relevant uh, the other motor gave 28 amperes with 1100 uh, grams of thrust. This is giving a couple of amperes less. Let's test uh, another propeller and see what happens. Here we go again. At the end of the test I will give you a chart with the type of propeller, the pitch and, and the diameter and, and the result. This one goes much better. In this case we've got three, uh, sorry, four ampere less than in the case of the other motor and we get one more than one kilogram of thrust with only 40, 24, sorry, 40, 24 amperes. Now let's try with carbon fiber. This is the best to the moment. We've reduced for the same trust one ampere more. And maximum trust is around 1.5 kilograms. This is a Tarnigi 
a wood uh, propeller. Let's see how it goes. It's been one of the, well, the worst up now. Maximum trust is around one kilogram, but the consumption is really reasonable. It's 30 amperes. But I, I hoped, uh, I, I expected much better results in this case. This one is a cherry wood, uh, also tanigy, with a, a classic uh, design. This goes quite well. Uh, we get 1.1 1, 1 .1 kilogram even with less consumption than before, around 23, 23 amperes. This is really good. This is an old friend. It is a Master Q propeller. Maybe it, it is too big, it gives a maximum thrust of around 1.6 kilograms and uh, for 1.1 it is 21, 22 uh, amperes. This is the last one because I cannot use anything with uh, a higher diameter than uh, 8 inches. It is also one of the worst. Well, what I'm going to do now is to leave the motor turning and I will show you the temperature when the battery has run out. So, here we go. I'm leaving it on 27 amperes. Well, it's been running up to the battery was around 10 and 10 volts. Let's see the temperature. Well, I don't know if it appears over there. The enclosure is at 20 something, and I'm going to point out. Let uh, allow me to move this here to let you see everything better. I want to know the temperature inside where the pointer is it is really great it's 24 degrees it is exceptional 
that there are, I'm, I'm pointing, I don't know if you're able to see the laser pointer to the windings and it is 24, eh? it appears maximum it's uh, here, let's go, it is my hand, my hand, let's see if we can do it from here. You see the laser pointer? It is around 20 something degrees. The refrigeration is really good. I have to make now the uh, brief uh, summary of everything. I will draw a, a table with the results and I have to see the video uh, with uh, time to, to see the consumption. In, uh, it is clear that uh, refrigeration is incredible. The motor is uh, warm. It's uh, it's uh, cooler than my hand, but I expect a little bit uh, less consumption.